What's up, guys? So, I thought it would be important um, to do a, uh, a video kind of overview of the new sketchbook. Um, I know we're just going to talk about some other stuff, but I feel like this is, like, uh, this is really important because it kind of, um, it's going to affect <clears throat> everything else that you guys have asked me about, too. So, um, I haven't forgot about your guys' questions. Um, but I feel like everyone needs to be aware of this right now. Um, so the video following this one will be about, um, you know, the questions that you guys have asked me and stuff. So, big difference now. Now, mind you, this is Sketchbook for Galaxy, which comes with um, uh, this tablet. But if you notice, there's another app here called Sketchbook. This is the brand new Sketchbook Pro. Um... And it's going to be awesome. Um, there's something I was just messing around with. Uh, let me go ahead and clear that out with. I was actually just trying out a brush. But uh, anyway, so as you can see, there is a completely different um, UI. Well, kind of. It's not exactly like one. I mean, it's, it's, it's still pretty familiar. If you're familiar with Sketchbook Pro, then you know, you know what this is. But there's a couple things that are different. One of the really big improvements, which I am extremely happy about, is you've always been able to do this, to, you know, zoom in and out of your canvas, but now we can actually turn our canvas. Um, so for me, that is really awesome because when you're trying to, you know, you don't have to flip the tablet all the time, um, you know, to get like a better angle or something. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, like, where's the, you know, snap back to frame tool, um, all you do is just double tap in the corner. And then also, too, if you were to uh, just draw something like messy to clear it, you just double tap right there. Um, okay, but let me just go over a few of these things real quick. I don't want to make this a long video. Um, your tools are now the little, you know, the what they call the clutch right here in the middle. It is gone. It is not there anymore. Um, so now it's over here. Um, now I still need to play around and look through the settings and stuff. Maybe you can still add that there. I don't know. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with this yet. But, um, pretty much everything from Sketchbook Pro is here. Um, you know. But we have some new tools. We have these smudge tools here, which is pretty amazing. Um, I'm not so, I don't really remember, especially this brush. I don't remember this one. Um, I think these, I think most of these are new, these new brushes. Um, I still need to go through and take a good look at this, but um, anyway, so for instance, let's say you have your pencil, now to change like the opacity and stuff on it now is like, you know, or the thickness of it, it's like here, um, that's for one, and then also too, you can change it over here. So that's kind of like that little middle wheel that we used to have, um, so you can change the size of it right there, you can change the opacity. Uh, you could change the color of it. Um, so that's, you know, that's a that's a good thing. And you can turn it off. Um, also, another thing that is new, which is amazing. If you click over here, we've always had the transform tool. But now we have, um, we have some new tools. Hold on. I, oh, you know, I think I had to have something out there for that to show up. So let's see. Uh, go back to transform. Oh, no, I am sorry. Um, not transform. Not transform. It's in the, I'm sorry, I meant to say uh, selection tool. So as you can see, now we have some new tools. We have, uh, you know, a lot of these tools are things that you would see in things like uh, Photoshop and also just regular drawing programs. Um, another thing that we have new, let me try to move my hand over here. Another thing that's new is when you come over here, you can click on here, on um, right this little tab right here. This was pretty much normal, except for now we have quite a few new things. And one thing I was really happy about is we have hue and saturation. Um, now these are, I don't think these, these saturations are more like what you could expect um, in something like, uh, like Pixlr. So that's going to be nice. So, uh, you know, you won't necessarily have to transfer your art to another app to, you know, to do things, you know, kind of different and stuff. Um, so that's one thing I was really happy about. 
Um, and you guys can go through all these. You can look through. I'm just kind of trying to give you a quick overview of the the new layout. Um, this up here, this is practically like your little menu button. Um, just like before, you know, just kind of tells you where to go. Um, and uh, that is to just clear away everything. Uh, so, yeah, so it's a quick overview. But here's here's the thing, you guys. <sighs> As you guys know, how me turn a light on so you can... There we go. It's a little bit better. Um, you guys know how much I love Sketchbook Pro, right? You guys, you guys, you guys all know that. Um, but here's the thing: this app, I would say, wait a little bit before you get it. Um, I wouldn't buy it just right this second. Um, I went ahead and bought mine. Um, unfortunately, I thought it was gonna recognize that I already bought the Pro, but apparently, this is just a complete brand new Sketchbook, so. You got to pay for it all over again, which kind of sucks because I already paid for Sketchbook Pro and now they're wanting me to pay for this. But anyway, I paid for it. But it for it uh, force closes a lot, and I'm sure they're going to deal with that really soon. But it's really annoying right now. So if you have Sketchbook Pro on your tablets, don't get rid of it. Keep it on there because they took Sketchbook Pro off the market. Um, at least I can't find it. I can't, and I used to be able to always find. It. I can't find it on this tablet, and I can't find it on my Note. Um, 8.0 so keep it uh, yeah it, it kind of sucks because it's like okay well we, we paid for it but now you're taking it away um, so I don't know if they're gonna address that I wrote them I don't know if they're gonna respond to me or not but uh, yeah so this app though even though it has a whole lot of uh, you know new features and you know a lot of exciting features too um, the app is just, it's not ready. I wouldn't put my money for it. Unfortunately, um, I didn't know that it was going to be so buggy already. Um, so I, you know, I went ahead and bought it, but oh well, I, you know, they're going to send out an update probably, I don't know, could be at the end of this week or, uh, early next week or sometime soon. Just expect to get an update if you've already paid for it. Um, it is unfortunate that, you know, we're stuck with this, but that's just the way it is. So, um, anyway, I just thought it was important to let you guys know about this because um, most of my other like new the new tutorials that I'm gonna be doing more than likely we're gonna be using this version of sketchbook so take a look at this video kind of you know I, I it's free you can download it for free but you have to pay to unlock a lot of features I would say go ahead and download it yes go ahead and download it get used to the features so when we start doing our regular tutorials um, then you'll you know you'll you'll know where to go you won't feel lost like oh where's he going and stuff because I, I want everyone to feel comfortable um with the software before um you know before we're moving on to tutorials and stuff so until they send an update i might continue to use the old version of sketchbook um just because i don't want to be doing a tutorial and then have it forced close on you guys or on myself because i will get really frustrated so anyway if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up i really appreciate that and um uh, don't forget to um uh, subscribe and comment below let me know what you guys think about this new app let me know if you have any um, if you've been having buggy issues with it I've looked on the Google Play comment section and it looks like people have been getting pretty irritated <laughs> so hopefully they fix it soon because um, it looks like it's I mean it's promising I mean I really dig in that right there like being able to flip the canvas and all that stuff so that's exciting Anyway, so yeah, so like I said, again, like I said, don't forget, give this video a big thumbs up, and uh, yeah, feel free to email me, let me know what you guys think, um, and don't forget to follow me on my uh, Facebook page, I'll put all the links for that crap in the description. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll see you in the next video, and take it easy, and I love you guys.